Hey, so today we're going to talk about Love and Hip Hop um, Season 3, Episode 3. It starts off with Lori L. and Erica meeting up because Erica's still feeling some kind of way from the last episode of when her and Lori L. got into it or whatever. So they get to talking and just straight off that, Erica was on some bullshit. Erica was on some childish ass bullshit. Um... L'Oreal was basically like, I'm not here for all of that drama. I don't roll like that. And Erica was just like mouthing off, talking about how um, she killed her career and all this BS. And I'm like, girl, you don't have a career. How you? How are you going off on another artist when you don't have a career yet? Like, come on. I was so over Erica from the moment this show aired. I only like... I like L'Oreal. I don't have no problem with L'Oreal whatsoever because a lot of people were going off about L'Oreal last time. But if you really pay attention to the episode last week, she never said that she was going to kick her. She said she was like, what are you going to do, kick him in the neck like you're going to kick? Um, like you kick your baby daddy? And Erica just slipped. I don't know what alcohol is. Erica don't mix. It's, I think Erica on some white stuff. Maybe it's just me. But she just weird and just don't act like that's just from regular alcohol. She just weird. Anyway, moving on. Um, Jen and Kynes, they at the house. He um is praying because he is, I guess, becoming a Muslim and he has to go through these steps to, I guess, really become a Muslim. So he has to pray, he has to fast, he has to do all this kind of stuff. And um, so he prayed him and his son because he wants to have his son be a Muslim like him. And Jim was raised Protestant or something, so they religion is like so off. And she is she wants her son to be a Muslim, but she still wants to instill some of her Protestant vows into the son. My thing is like y'all should have worked that out before y'all had a son, or cons you should have told Jen what you're going to have to do once we have this baby. And I don't understand, like, how do you just make a person change their religious faith when they've been that way for so long and just because they dating you, they have to change their religious faith? I think either y'all not going to, y'all shouldn't be together because of religious reasons or y'all should respect each other's um, religion. That's all I'm saying. Um... But they boring anyway, so I just gave them some life in this video because they boring to tell. Anyway, Yandy and Mandisi, they boring to tell too. But they're talking about um, moving into a bigger spot or whatever. And she like, no, she ain't with that moving stuff. And she just feel like she's stable and he's not that stable and she's not sure what the relationship is going to go. But I'm like, you said you've been with this man for six years. If he wasn't all of that then, he's not going to be all of that in the future. And you should have thought about that before you got pregnant with this dude and thought you was going to have a family with him. But in that little boy that they had looked like he was like six, so he looked like he was cheating on you back then and had that little boy. So they whole relationship is just wrong to me. Um, I don't know. I just don't care for them, basically. Um, Joe and Rocky, they meet up. He tricks her into meeting up. She thinks that she's going to meet up with Caitlyn, and it's Joe. So he up start apologizing to her, um, about the way he reacted. He told her that he was high and stuff like that. And she immediately goes off on him, and she was talking about her summertime. She can mix me with all that bullshit. She likes Joe. Her feelings was hurt, and she just had to meet, um, she just had to admit to that. She was saying how um, she had people who was going to get him, and he was like, where are these people? Where are these people you speak of that have their hands? And I'm like, why are you trying to play, a, like, like you want some kind of play, or we getting punk? Like, they were so boring and so scripted, and I don't understand why she met up with, I mean, she didn't walk off when she seen him walking up if she didn't really want to meet with him. Um, but I guess they have to do that for camera. But... I'm over Rocky, I'm over Joe, I'm over all of that. That was like two episodes ago. I'm so over it. Um, but he did kind of apologize. I don't know if that was an apology. I don't know. Joe was weird. 
Anyway, Rich and Cons, they meet up at the barber shop and they're talking and Cons tell him that he has this record for Liv that he got and it was for Liv. Remember, this record is for Liv. So, Rich take it upon himself and say that, oh, I think it'll be good luck for Erica too. So he tells Cons or whatever about this and Cons is like, cool, since they work on your label, cool. So, I... Um, I'm gonna get to that, but I just wasn't. I'm, I'm not feeling kind. I'm not feeling rich because rich is so pussy whip when it comes to Erica that you were so live with this no name artist to make Erica look better when you're not even doing too much for Olivia's career. Like Olivia, I don't know if you need to get a new management or whatever, but rich ain't it, especially if he get pussy whip so fast and was so good under the bus and throw you out with no name unstable creature um like that i just don't get it but so anyway um man did you see and yandy they meet up again and he told her that he found a bigger place and she is like why i wouldn't get a place with him because he's just my baby daddy and he, they were talking about she was talking about some mama and my and her husband come, and I'm sitting there like, how old are you, Andy, that you want your mama to come? I understand you need a babysitter because of your baby, and you guys both work, but she don't need to move in with you guys. You already say she live in the same building now, and she be bugging, like, Andy, grow up. You too old to be saying something about um your parents moving in. And then you talking about he's unstable. You've been with him six years. You knew he was unstable. Kill me with that. Like, come on. Like, these witches, I don't get it. Like, y'all contradict y'all from one episode to the next, and I just don't get it. Um, what else happened? Erica, Olivia and Cons, they talk about, um, they at the studio, and they working on a song, and she did the song, and she was, the song was jamming, they were jamming to the song or whatever. And then he comes and tell her about the Erica being on the track. And she like, well, y'all can keep that. Y'all can just put her on it. And he like, why? And she was just like, is this your idea or is this Rich's idea? And he took the blame. But I'm like, because that was not your idea to have her on that. That was um, Rich's idea. So why did you say that was your idea when it wasn't? You said that idea was yours for the song, but not for Erica to be on it. So she was... um. Like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not feeling her. Like, no, it's not going to be good for us. No. So they were still laughing and talking when they seen faded out or whatever. And I was just like, whatever. So then um, after that, what happened? Tahiri and Joe mom, they meet up because she wants Tahiri to be there for Joe, and they need to support Joe through his problems and all this kind of stuff. And I'm sitting there like, what happened to Caitlyn? Why would you? Okay, everybody is like, why would she go to Caitlyn and go to Tahiri? Maybe they have a relationship. She knows something more about Tahiri being there for Joe. Maybe she don't feel like Caitlyn is the person to go to because she's a just a for right now girlfriend. She might be enabling him to do these drugs. Um, she might be doing them with him. So maybe that's why she didn't go to Kaylin. It's a reason for that mom not to go to Kaylin. Trust me. It was a reason. Um, what else? Well, so anyway, um, Tahiri, she agrees to go help him with the problem. Tahiri is skeptical because she, like, she's trying to move on with her life because of all the hurt, but she don't want to see Joe go down that same path again. So she's like, that really on if she should help him or she should be helping. Anyway, moving on. Rich and Erica, they meet up, and they're talking about the last time of what happened at the club and all this kind of stuff. And then he brings up her wilding out at Fashion Week. She says that she didn't, um, really wasn't wilding out. She just, so Liv wasn't loyal because she didn't want to take a picture with Samaya Reed. They were taking a picture, and Samaya Reed jumped in, so she jumped off the picture. That's weak. That's not professional. Because everybody was going to be talking about child professional you were at a Fashion Week event. So that was unprofessional. Um, my thing is it was just a picture. So you could take the picture and then tick, tweet about, like, you took a picture of this bitch, but you really don't like her. I don't know. But 
that was just really unprofessional. And then for you to call out Liv because she's not on Samaya because of the shit that her and Rich went through, like, or some shit you and her went through, like, you're sorry. I don't get it. I don't like her. I don't like her as far as I don't like Kenya from um, How Far to Atlanta. But anyway, Khan's walking in and he's telling Rich about the session with Liv and how he had the worst session he ever had. But I'm like, you were laughing with Liv. Like, come on. Like, why is he throwing Liv under the bus like she just made your day a living hell? So Rich is mad because he felt like he paid for her to go and all this kind of stuff. And I was sitting there like, you should have talked to Liv before you made that 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 money making decision. You should have talked to Liv before you paid for that for your time and your time to be with her. Knowing you had already said you didn't think she was gonna do it. So come on now. Um so here we and Rashida they meet up and they talking about Joe and yada 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 and she, and she just crying to Rashida about how she just really likes Joe but she really needs to move on and Rashida like you're not gonna be able to move on until you talk to him and get your answer. Um, Olivia and Rich, they meet up and they talk about the record. She like, no, I'm not doing it. She's really adamant about not doing a record with her. She like, this is not going to be a good look for me. It's not going to be a look good for you. It's not going to be a look for our brand. Like, no, I'm not doing it. And he totally goes off on Olivia. Like, totally goes off. And I'm sitting there like, for real, Rich? Like, you is so pussy with. Like, you are dogging your supposedly best friend for so many years. But this bitch, you only been smashing for a couple of months. Like, come on. I don't understand. And and you know she a jump off. Like, you know she got the reputation of being a jump off. And you really dogged out Olivia for her. And Olivia might have been wrong. No, she wasn't. She wasn't wrong. A lot of people say she wrong because she didn't take that record and she didn't do that record. But some artists have to stand that ground and not do things that would even make them look worse than what they already look in the media's eyes. These people already feel like Olivia don't have a career. And if you go do this record with her, they don't have no talent, unstable. So that means you gotta still go perform this song with this broad and she's unstable, like that's not gonna be a hot look. Um so they go off or whatever. Then Jen and Khan is cooking in the kitchen well Jen is cooking in the kitchen, Khan's walking in and she complaining that she couldn't eat because of his fasting and all that, and I'm like, well, get a backbone, folks, that's all I'm talking about, them. Say and Tahiri, they go to Joe's house, and they're, um, trying to give him a little intervention and talk to him about his problems, and yada, 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 and Joe giving, talking to her, talking about he want to be her friend, and he's giving this lame-ass talk, and I'm looking just like Tahiri, like, I don't believe you, like, are you hiding out? I don't believe you, I just didn't get that, but anyway, I was just over that. Then last thing to talk about is Jandy's event. She had an event to celebrate her success with her line, her blog, or whatever she was having. But she was having this event, and she invited Olivia and Erica. So there, Olivia and Yandy are sitting there talking, and they're talking about um, the song that contact for Olivia, and she wanted Erica, and both of them was like, no. And she told her, like, this is your fault. This is your fault. She brought this broader to the group. This is your fault. But Yandy was like, I told him to get money. I did not tell him to smash that broad. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, so then Erica walks in, and she made me on the fence with Olivia. And so they all talk. And Olivia was like, I think it was Olivia was like, speaking of you and then whatever. And she sat down, and they started talking. And she was telling her about Fashion Weekend. Erica was, like, explaining to her, like, um, how unloyal Liv was for taking a picture with Maya. And Liv was like, this is it's only a picture. Like, she wants to be in a picture with us. We weren't trying to get in a picture with her. Like, it's only a picture. But Erica felt some kind of way. So, but Yandy shut it down and was like, wait a minute, this is my event. You're not going to come to my event talking all this game or whatever, at my event. And she was like, well, you don't like it, you believe. And I'm sitting there like, you had her shit. Like, but I'm just like, so anyway, um, Yanny was like, no, you can leave. And she's like, can y'all get her, can y'all get her? Apparently, they wanted some camera time, so they was like, keep rolling, keep rolling, because nobody came and tried to move Erica out the way. Yanny had to get up, I'm mean, like, walk out the way for this, this conversation to be over. So apparently, Mona was like, mm-mm, wait for to get her, we need to this argument to keep going. So, um, yeah, and 
but she looking like she has shit on her face because they see going off on Yandy and Olivia, and they laughing at her. They just straight laughed at her in her face, and she felt real stupid. She was trying to play hard, but she she felt real stupid when they was laughing at her and they wasn't biting into that argument with her. But she was like, get the hands on my face, Yandy. Yandy was like, you don't want it. You don't, like, and she, you noticed that she did not jump. Like, she jumped at L'Oreal. She did not jump at Yandy like that. And she didn't jump with Olivia like that. She might have been a little mouthy, but she did not jump at either one of them because she knew that, that would, she would have got her up. And I've heard a lot of people say that she has stories of getting her ass work a lot in clubs and on the street because of her mouth. And I can agree that I can understand why people say that because I would have to. Mm-hmm. But it wouldn't be cute. Anyway, that was my. um review for the Love and Hip Hop New York season three, episode three. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the Ghetto View. Instagram me at Miss Nika M I D D N E K A sixty nine. Facebook me at the Ghetto View. Sorry I look just like so tired, but I have just been for the last couple of days I've been really sick and I have not had any sleep. So, um yeah, talk to me and I'll talk to you back. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, and don't forget to share my videos. All right, peace.